everybody, Susan Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I'm going to be go grabbing my daughter's 20 gallon long, tearing down her paradise fish tank, and bringing it over here. So my daughter's moving, and she's got about a two month transition, so instead of moving the fish around for two months, I'm going to set them up right here, and this is where they're going to stay until she's ready for her fish tank. Let me show you what I'm doing. And if you remember, there's a 20 gallon long that we set up in her apartment, but she's in the middle of a move. So while she's moving, we're going to set up her 20 gallon long here with all her paradise fish. I don't know if you've seen, if not, I'll put a link up in the description. Her paradise fish spawned, and she has like nine juveniles now, maybe ten. First thing we did is scoop out all the fish and put it in the actual tank water. Okay, I can't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are the paradise fish. There are the parents and all the babies. An existing sponge filter and some moss balls and plants. Then I scooped out almost all the substrate. Now this substrate has tons of beneficial bacteria. So the first thing I did is set up the stand. I didn't take it apart. I just stuffed it in my car. Made sure it was level at the tank. So now I'm adding the substrate. And now I'm going to fill it with tap water that's run through my carbon blocker. And then as I do that, I'm going to drip acclimate those fish. And now I have to find the bag that I put her filter in, her sponge, get her heater, and I just got to find it all. Here we go. So one of the things I want to do is she was in a couple towns over. So I want to check the TDS that's coming out of my tap water. So coming out of my tap water, going through the carbon block dirt using this substrate is 155. I'm thrilled. Usually my tap water is about 300, 350. So I like the carbon blocker. I like that a lot. Now I'm going to check what her tank water was. So it was about 273. So that's a big difference. And I'm sure it's just because different different water she doesn't have a carbon filter she was using a water conditioner so that's why another reason why I think it's so important that I drip acclimate these fish get them used to this water before putting them in there and now I'm gonna go check the temperature so if anybody doesn't have a TDS meter I would so suggest it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop filling it it's up to here so the reason I only filled it up a little over halfway is because I'm gonna be doing some uh, adding some plants. She only had a couple of Anubis and maybe a Cryptocorin and a couple of moss balls. Because I remember setting it up over at her apartment, it was very tough, what do I bring, what don't I bring? Now that it's in my house, I can add as many plants, I'm sure she won't complain. So let's see if I can find some, dig up some plants that I just brought home from the aquatic experience. You look down there, look at that power, power supply. It is full. All my power supplies are always full. My daughter has concern with it. I have concern with it. I think I'm gonna put all my power supply on one line. I had the electrician that came out a couple months ago and up to my service, so that was good. So now it's just a matter of putting it all on one line. So even if there's a power outage, I would have a backup generator just for my fish rooms. Fish rooms. <laughs> okay, maybe there's more problems than just the power line, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Let me see if I can find some plants. <laughs> so I was able to find, unfortunately this is immersed at the moment. Okay, the fish are ready to go in. I'm gonna get a net and start putting them in. Mm -hmm. 